Alrighty guys, welcome back to another LEGO set review from Brick by Brick, and today we have the LEGO Ninjago Av J Avatar Arcade Pod, set number 71715, containing 47 pieces and retailing for ages 7 and up, and it has a really interesting shaped box, uh, like all the other arcade pods, or uh, it's actually kind of designed to be in the shape of an arcade machine, it is a lot bigger than the actual uh, arcade pod itself, uh, you know. It's not like it's designed to be about the same size, um, but, you know, it, it's still an interesting package, and the design of it is pretty cool and pretty unique. Uh, I did get this on clearance at Walmart for $7, um, but looking at the side, you know, it, it's a pretty neat looking box. Um, it does have two mini figures, of which one is the exclusive Avatar J, and it's got some accessories on the inside. Um, yeah, I mean, the instructions are a little bit different for these uh, Avatar pods too, uh, where you know they're one sheet that folds out, makes a pretty large size thing, and you do have the uh, kind of like progress bars where it'll show um, you know Jay up at the top shouting out, "Hey, do this," and then you got the arrows leading you all the way around instead of just having to rely on things. Also have Jay popping up to show you to put a sticker on, and does continue on to the back, and you know has some of the Fancy graphics, shows you the two minifigures there. And the other thing that the set has going for it that's a little bit different is that it also comes with some extra stickers that you can use to just decorate, you know, your arcade pod on random spots, I guess, if you want to do. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And the sticker, extra sticker selection, kind of varies a little bit between the three different arcade pods, which all do have extra stickers. And here's the actual arcade pod built. You know, it's based around the same, you know, main pieces as the other two arcade pods. So if you've seen one of them, you've kind of seen them all for the most part from the outside. Uh, it does have some stickers on there, and the design of the stickers on this is pretty good. I actually did a pretty good job applying them. Um, I kind of screwed up one of the side stickers on the uh, Kai arcade pod that I built. You do also have the controls there, which is cool. And, you know, the, the extra brick build details on the top are pretty much identical to, uh, you know, the Kai and Lloyd ones, they'll just have slightly different color combinations. Uh, but I believe that they're otherwise completely the same, maybe. Uh, but I, maybe maybe they use different pieces up there, but I don't remember for sure. Uh, if you don't know how these work, you can open them up from the back, and it shows you all the accessories here, uh, including the head for the Avatar version. Because, um, you know, the uh, actual figure, uh, the Digi... J figure is just standing there, uh, but we actually also have underneath there the uh, parts for the avatar uh, minifigure. So basically, you can you know, take those out, you can put them together, uh, you can pull his uh, head off the wall, and the studs will come with it, um, and there, pop that back in there, and then you can assemble him. And his accessories also fit back there as well. Uh, you can, I believe, still fit him in. Uh, no, maybe you can't. Maybe his hair is too big. Yeah, I think that might be the case. Oh no, maybe it's his hands that were too far forward. Yeah, it was his hands. Okay. Yeah, you, there, there's space for him with his hair there. So you can have the Avatar one on display instead if you prefer. Uh, or, you know, I mean, if it were up to me, I probably wouldn't even disassemble the... Uh, the avatar version and put it in there. Um, I just have them separate. But, you know, if you want to have a compact way to store them both, that's a pretty good option. Uh, and you can remove the accessories, which here feature a guitar for Avatar J, as well as a weapon using one of these golden um, game controller pieces uh, for Digi J. And we'll pop that back in there. And then also one of the health bars for Digi J. And, you know, with those all removed, it becomes a pretty plain and empty thing. But it still looks okay as a, uh, you know, arcade machine. A little bit oversized for sure. But, you know, you can pretend that it works, really. You know, and uh, I think that, you know, even though it is a little bit oversized, so were the uh, arcade machines in the actual show. So... You know, I guess in that sense, it kind of is a little bit more okay. And first up, we'll take a look at Avatar J, who is probably the highlight of the set. He does have an exclusive torso print and exclusive face print. His leg print is actually identical to Digi J, so you actually get two of the same leg piece in the set. Um, you know, his hair piece is also a new color for that part, which is his hair from the Lego Ninjago movie. Just a new recolor for that. And 
you know, he uh, also has his guitar, which is just a plain, unprinted Dark Gazor guitar. Uh, and, you know, it, it looks fine, but nothing special back printing there. He also has an alternate facial expression, which has him kind of rocking out. Uh, and we remove the hairpiece entirely. You're able to see a little bit more printing on the front of his head. Uh, but, yeah, he's a, he's a pretty cool figure, and it's nice to have him. And he does appear pretty accurate to how he looks in the show. And here we have DigiJ, who is pretty much completely decked out. I guess he doesn't have the katanas in his back, but, you know, that's, that's fine. If we turn him around, you can see... Uh, he does have the same, you know, shoulder pad slash katana holder piece with this uh, health bar thing attached just by a bar connection. Uh, you know, that can be removed, obviously. As well as his accessory, which these uh, gold and black uh, combinations of game controller piece only appear in the arcade pods, so kind of cool still. And in order to take a better look at his torso and face, we have to remove the armor piece. I do like the, uh, the way the visor kind of looks with the mask on. It's a pretty... Good luck. He does have the printing on there as well. And um, there we go. Uh, in order to see the face print on the front and back, we have to remove that. And it's nice that they give him a new facial expression uh, for this season. So that's a pretty good thing. Uh, but this figure is uh, the cheapest way to get uh, DigiJ, though he does appear in, I believe, three of the other sets um, from the wave so he's one of the more common ones though appropriately as the season does kind of focus around him set does include a full bag of these transparent neon yellow uh weapon components so you do get the full batch of them even only one is used in the actual build so you know it is nice to get some extras of these yeah overall this is you know pretty decent cheap set nice to I'd be able to get one of the ninja in such a cheap way, but I think the big draw for pretty much everyone who buys this will have been the uh, Avatar J minifigure, and you know, this is probably how I'll end up displaying it, because I don't really see value in, you know, kind of storing the Avatar and J inside of the uh, arcade bot. I mean, I guess it's nice that, you know, you have that option, but, but I prefer to just keep the minifigure assembled all the time. No, I mean, that's up to you. For $10, I think that this is a perfectly reasonable value. You know, you could get the one really large molded part um, so and too many figures, so the price for a piece, I feel, doesn't really matter in this case. Um, you know, and let me know what you think in the comment section down below, but I think that these arcade parts are pretty solid for the most part. Um, and, you know, honestly, it's unlike the spinner sets where the gimmick is kind of the big deal. I would recommend getting all three, because, uh, you know, they do all have exclusive minifigures. Um, and, you know, you really aren't getting anything that's super, like, just fun to play with, that, you know, you'd want to get one so you can play with it. Uh, I think that having all three together will kind of, you know, improve the experience of all three. So, hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everyone.